Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm just letting you know a supervisor coming. Can you put your phone down, please? No, I can't. Listen to I'm me. under the advice of counsel to videotape all my police encounters. Okay. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, just letting you know, there is a supervisor coming. Okay. Can you just stop and tell the supervisor coming? Um, I'm asking you politely. Well, I know. And I'm, I'm not here with, by your permission, you understand? I'm here okay. because I have a right to be here. Now, okay. we've already gone through the courts and everything with this, with the bullhorns and everything like that, and as long as we're under the decibel meter, we're allowed to. We've dealt with this a couple weeks ago, too. Okay. All right, so apparently hey, you're new and favor. you haven't been around here. There are times so. that I'm in plain clothes, so you're recording me, puts my yeah. life in danger. Well, you're a public servant, sir, and you're on public property, so still, you... Still, there are times that when we do work undercover, by you put me on recording, I'm only telling you this for officer safety reasons, okay? We're police officers. We don't harm anybody, okay? We're not here to do that. That's not our job. Our job is to serve and protect, okay? But, but what you're doing right now is putting us on pitch for no reason, recording us for no reason. Really? Okay. You're here. Well, then you're here for no reason, then. I'm here because I was called. Because people live here. These are residents as well. It's not just a business district. No, it's I also call, a residential sir, I'm a district. Up the street. So, it's so it's called. also a residential. I, I call, gentlemen. So when you're also disturbing people what? that actually live call, here, yeah. but, but this is zoned commercial and the, okay. the decibel meter. It's zoned for commercial. Sure, it is. It's zoned for commercial and residential. Right, no, but no, it falls. The, the decibel this. rating this is, right. is a commercial rating. I'm not here with What's that? Don't need one. I got one on my phone. But we've already we've, we've gone through this. Do you have one? This is coming. Yeah, we have one. Okay, yeah, we'll go on over there and check it out. Then check out our decibel rating. The is, what I'm saying is, you have Can residents that live here. Uh, hey, you have business owners that live here. And once again, you take it upon yourself to at your own will to just force your will over people that live here well, that go to sleep. Is that what you call work. the First Amendment? It's not just about the First Amendment. It's, it's, the first it's amendment, all about the First Amendment. When you utilize the First Amendment, also to Nothing put it do. to cause disturbance of other people, then you kind of take it to a different level. You're but, right, there's a First Amendment. You can say whatever you like until you cause an issue where there's a problem where you can start a right. Like one, I can't go into a building and scream fire when right. there's no fire, okay? Well, we're not but, doing that. But, but what you're doing is, this, like I said, you're disturbing residents as well. See? Good. How you doing? Good. Sign and slam for the camera. Okay, now. The mega horn is a no-no, okay? You can stand out here, you can preach, you can say what you want to say, but if your mega horn is disturbing the other people over there, that's a no-no. Sir, we've had attorneys deal with this. Your sir, city attorney... Oh. Sir, my, my attorney has also advised me also. Well, what, what attorney is that? Okay. This, What's the name of the attorney? The city of Tampa. Well, well that city of Tampa it attorney is, gave me a letter that told me I was it was okay to do this. No, he did not. He absolutely did. As a matter of fact, you might want to call your lieutenant. I, 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 I left my lieutenant. Okay, well then you okay. need to talk to him because you're no. violating our rights. No, I'm not. You absolutely are. You can't violate other people's rights either. We're not violating yes, anybody's rights. Yes, you right. are. If someone is complaining, you're violating somebody's right. right. Uh, so if, so you can is, preach is that the definition? So that you can preach and you can do whatever you want to do down here, sir. But you cannot interfere with other people's business in the process we're not, we're of doing not. We're, that. We've been out coming out here for seven Sir, years. I've been here for seven years. I know well, that. You should I've know been, that. You I've should been know better. I've talked to you before. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you may talk to someone else. Okay. Why don't you call code okay. enforcement? They, they probably calling, have a copy of that letter. I'm not calling anyone. Well, they're the ones I'm that regulate the sound. All right, we're allowed to, we're allowed to be you heard. Not, uh, no, the you ambient are, you're noise. allowed to speak. You're not allowed to amplify your voice over the people over here and disturb the people over here. You can move it to someone else who's not complaining, and as long as they're not complaining, I don't have a problem. But when I get a complaint from somebody else, you are no better than anybody else. Sir, we're Sir. out here. We're out here because the First Amendment gives us the right to express our ideas and beliefs on public property. Absolutely. But are you not, telling me not that, that, that I'm not I, with the ambient noise? All right, we're not, not breaking any rules, any if you're laws, disturbing any the ordinances. Other people, yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. Sir, we've already gone through all this. Sir, I'm just telling what's you. What's the decibel? What's the, the decibel? Best, the best thing you can do is move on to somewhere else where you where you're not disturbing the other people. Well, I tell you, then no complaint. What happens when they complain? Well, when they complain, then you move on to somewhere else. You got all over Ebor City that you can move until you go home tonight. Sir, the Sir? ordinance, local ordinance, says that we are allowed to use the bullhorn because where we're allowed it? to learn. What's that? You should know. Where is it? it it's your where law. Is it? It's your law. Where is it? Where is where, it? Where is it? Yeah, where is it? Well, it's in your where local ordinances. It? it says 80 decibels. No. All right? No. 
What you're you, doing, you cannot, what you're doing you is you're cannot, breaking the law. You cannot disturb the other people down here. We're here not by your permission. You, We're here because we have a First Amendment right to be heard. You got a First Amendment right, right to be heard, but you don't have the right to disturb other people while you are being heard. Are you going, just like are you going to arrest like, us if we just continue like using any, that horn? Just like anybody else. Yes. What? If you use a mega horn, I'm going to arrest you. Really? Now, if you want to push that, then you will push it. You'll sit in jail tonight. I don't care. That's okay, because what you just did is you violated my rights. Sir, you're you're sir. causing me not to be able to be heard. Yes, you sir. You noise out here? Yes, sir. Whatever, you, whatever you, what you say, want to do. whatever, you, whatever well, you say, I'm just telling you, you can't use the mega horn out here and disturb the people that's out here. Well, everybody, sir. listen, sir, I'm a religious man, too, but everybody don't want to hear what we have to say. Okay, these people come down here to express. These people here pay the money to have the folks come in here and do the, do the things that they do in their club. You, as a religious man, should understand that as well. You cannot press your religion on anybody just like no I can't. No one's doing that. That's what you're trying to do no, because called, they are saying that you are disturbing them. So what? The truth disturbs people. You sure, know, when you preach the truth, sure. you're going to have two people. If Those that accept it. it. If you preach the you, truth, that's one you're thing. You're not going to let me talk. Okay. I've you been can, listening to you, you but can, you're not letting me talk. Speak. All right. We as American citizens have the right to express our ideas and beliefs as the First Amendment gives us rights. We can do anything we want unless the law says we can't. There's no law that says we can't use that bullhorn. There's no law that says we can't be out here. You as law enforcement, as a government, cannot do a thing unless the law that says you can. And sure. what you're doing is you're when saying you that we're not allowed to When you are disturbing gospel. other people, yes, it can. Who are we disturbing? You are disturbing. You are disturbing the people that call us down here. We didn't just stop here. We never stop here unless we get a complaint, sir. So they've been complaining about this if, for if, years. No, no, no. I've been down here for years. When there's a complaint, I address the complaint. Okay? That has it. When, when you stand on the corner and none of these people complain, we don't have a problem with that. Sir, but when I, somebody complains, there lies the problem. I'd like to speak to you, Lieutenant. Because you're you're in clear violation of your own local ordinance and the laws. Apparently, you're you're not familiar with them, as I am, because I had to deal with this for years. Sir, okay. I've had is Sergeant the Ward here. Is Sergeant, Sergeant Ward. Is Lieutenant he, Ward. Or is Lieutenant Ward here. Lieutenant Ward doesn't work okay. down here anymore. Okay. Well, I knew him when he was a sergeant. Okay. I All do right. too. He, you might want to call him. He's I probably need, familiar. I don't need to call right. him. Well, then call your lieutenant. Call someone. I don't need to call because the we are lieutenant. allowed. We are allowed to speak on that bullhorn. We are allowed to be God, heard. I wish I had my letter. <laughs> there is a letter on this. Yeah, there is. That and you know, what, you know what your city attorney said? Your city attorney said, I'd like to be interested to know the badge number of the officer that said you weren't allowed to do it. 950. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, if you want, I can fax you the letter. I didn't bring it tonight. But fax we have it. Fax me Alliance the fax Defense Fund. I'll be down here next week. Fax, fax me the letter. Fax me well, the letter. By next, the, by next week, you're probably going to get a letter from the attorney. Okay. okay? That'll be but fine. here's the thing. That'll be fine. So what you're saying, so we're all clear. Yes. If we continue to use the bullhorn, you will arrest us. If you continue to use the bullhorn, and I got two people that's complaining, yes, I will arrest you. Okay. Well, then that's it. I guess that's all that can be said. You're going to violate our rights and not allow us no, to be sir, heard. No, sir. I'm not violating you your rights. You absolutely are. No, I'm not. Because, you know, your local ordinance says 80 decibels. If we can... And what about these people, the clubs that have the noise that come out? Sir. All right, are you going to shut them sir, down too if I complain? The people, the people are complaining because you are causing their their business to lose business. No, I'm not. There's yes, they are. They pay, in, they pay big money to rent these places down here and to do what they do. So I guess the burden of proof would be on them to say that they're losing business because I, of us. How I, do they know it's because of us? Maybe because no one wants to go in their club. Sir. We're standing right here. All right, what club is out here? We're not like picketing anybody. We're not doing anything but just standing here preaching the gospel. You no, really, no one. You really need to get your lieutenant. I'm not getting a lieutenant. The yeah. lieutenant is going to lunch. Going to lunch. Yes, he just left. Are you, do, you, do you guys? Matter of fact, I told him. I said, "Why don't you come down here and talk with me, so that we can go talk to these guys?" Well, I think but, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, well, he's that. Because lunch. do you guys consider yourself public servants or public administrators? Police officers. Are you a public servant or public administrator? Police officer. So you don't know what classification you're I'm, a, I'm a police officer, sir. I know what I am. So I'm is, a, a, is it a I'm public a, servant? A, or? A you know, I'm not going to let you piss me off in here today. That is not my goal. That may be your goal. No, your goal is but, to deny but, us but our rights. it is not my goal. No, it's not. Yeah. We want to be, you know, I, I love law enforcement. I used to be a cop myself. Good. Okay? 
Good. All right, but uh, apparently law enforcement, and law enforcement they, they, changes they, on a daily basis. Yeah, and they but you know what the First Amendment doesn't. Okay. No, the First Amendment. All right, the Constitution's been around for a long time, and it usurps all your local ordinances. It usurps all all the state laws. All right, that's why we have a First Amendment. All right, to protect us from people like you. Okay. Protect Not, and you I, yeah, from people like me. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so I'd like to know. Right, I, since you're well, obviously. What else you want to know? You got my name. Do you have my name? I want to know your lieutenant. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm just letting you know a supervisor coming. Can you put your phone down, please? No, I can't. Listen to I'm me. under the advice of counsel to videotape all my police encounters. Okay, okay, no, that's fine. Okay, just let you know there is a supervisor coming. Okay. Can you just stop and tell the supervisor coming? Um, so are you recording me? Put my life in danger? So well, you're a public servant, I, sir, I still, and you're on public property, so still, you... Still, there are times that when we do work undercover, by you put me on recording, I'm only telling you this for officer, officer, officer safety officer. reasons, this is for okay? Officer. We're police officers. We don't harm anybody, okay? We're not here to do that. That's not our job. Our job is to serve and protect, okay? But, but what you're doing right now is putting us on pitch for no reason, recording us for no reason. Really? Okay. You're here. Well, then you're here for no reason, then. I'm here because I was called. Because people live here. These are residents as well. It's not just a business district. You know, it's I also. I'm asking you politely. Well, I know. And I'm, I'm not here with by your permission. You understand? I'm here okay. because I have a right to be here. Now okay. we've already gone through the courts and everything with this, with the bullhorns and everything like that. And as long as we're under the decibel meter, we're allowed to. We've dealt with this a couple weeks ago too. Okay. All right. So apparently hey, you're new and you haven't been around here. There are times so. that I'm in plain clothes. A oh, residential sir, I'm a district. Owner up the street. I it's it's also a residential I, I area. Call, so when you are also disturbing people what? that actually live here, yeah. but, but this is zone commercial, commercial and the, okay. the decibel meter. Sure, it's for commercial, sure it is. Zone for commercial and residential. Right, no, but no, it falls. The, the decibel rating is, is a commercial.